to reprogram our mind always coming back to the present moment positive and loving energy i give you permission to contribute to my growth to my healing you're gonna find great relief killing your physical body dear guardian angel this video is for you if you want to develop a strong connection with your spirit guides whether you're new to this concept or you just want to go a little bit deeper. I am going to be sharing some tools and techniques that you could use to develop a bond with these beautiful beings of love and light. But before we get into it, make sure you check out the description box where I share a free PDF ritual that you can use as a tool on your healing journey. And if you stay into the end of this video, I am going to be guiding you through a meditation to connect to your spirit guides. I share videos every week, so make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so you can be alerted anytime I upload new content. Have you ever had the feeling that there is just more than this physical world? That there's just more than just us? Have you ever had this feeling that you're seeking help and you want to communicate with beings out of this physical world? It's just like a little feeling, a tingling day that you have in the depth of your heart and your soul. Well, let me tell you, that's your spirit guide, your guardian angel, giving you that feeling for you to wake up and be aware of their presence in your life. For you to wake up and to know that you have a team working for you, that you just have to find a way to create that bond and give them a yes for them to work in your life. Each person that is born into this physical world, all of us, we come into this world with a spirit team. In this team, we have angels, we have ancestors, we have goddesses and gods. We have family members that pass away from this physical reality and this present moment that you're living. And they, for some reason, when they go to the next level, they decide that they wanna be our guides to help and to contribute to our evolution, to expand our consciousness, to connect to who we truly are, to find peace and courage when we're facing challenges in life. So one of the first things to do to create this bondage, this connection, this relationship with these amazing beings is to welcome them in. Welcome into your life. Ask for help. That's as, as simple as that as asking for help. You could just sit like as a right now and be like, you know, I call in my spirit guide. I call in the angels and archangels right now to guide me to open up to this new relationship. I am ready to be in contact with you. Even little question, even if something got lost, because I have done it myself if you can't find something i'd be all the time asking to my spirits be like can you please help me find let's say let me use the example of keys and i sit still and i don't i stop looking for the keys and it just pop in my head exactly where they are have you ever been in a situation that you seeking an answer and then i don't know where a thought just pop in and when you go is the exact thing or you found the exact exact thing um you know the exact solution that you was looking for that is your spirit guide talking to you another thing we could do is create a sacred space a table like a, a altar whatever you want to call it however that works for you and mine's i place a glass of water i have a candle incense i have images i always put flowers my table is my sacred space it's my it's my space that when i sit in this table my spirit guys know already that it's about to go down we're about to have a conversation i'm about to seek answers or offer gratitude for how much they help me and support me meditation of course meditation meditation for me is the number one tool that suits it all of it to reprogram our mind to communicate with our higher self with our spirit teams to manifest whatever it is that you could think about to silence your mind to heal your body meditation is the tool to go to so meditate with your spirit guys in fact at the end of this video i am going to be guiding you through a medit um a guided meditation so you can connect with your spirit guide journal free journal because one thing is to journal but another is to free journal you grab a pen and your and your book and you meditate you breathe in and out you know you imagine you have a white light covering your body and just write without thinking just write 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 without thinking but you got to set the intention and connect. You know, you say, I want to connect to my spirit guide for some guidance. This is the situation that I'm presenting. And you start writing. Free write. And then you read it. And whatever came out of it, that's the message That's the message from your spirit guides. Because they're going to communicate to us in different ways. Through numbers, through messages, through music, through a dream. For each person is different. For you, might be unique. Opening up your relationship with your spirit guides is something so special to one individual person. Everybody has it differently. 
and express gratitude for the things that you have right now. Always coming back to the present moment for the little things, for the protection, for things that you have overcome, even for paying a bill, for paying your rent, for having a roof. When we express gratitude, we erase a, a beautiful vibration and our spirit team are attracted to this vibration because when sometimes when we low vibrate, they always going to be there. But when we don't invite them in and we don't create a beautiful bubble of positive and loving energy, it's kind of more difficult for them to communicate with us because we're blind so when you open in to gratitude and to love you erase this vibration where you just invite them in in your life and say yes i call you in and i give you give them permission you say i give you permission to contribute to my growth to my healing guide me through the proper journey that is for me to elevate my higher being and start another thing is start working in your intuition listen to your intuition how you know is is your intuition or not your ego because when your intuition is something that you let's say you want to accomplish something you want to do something something that you want to change and you're just afraid to do it but if you know that you do it you're gonna feel so relieved and so happy that's your intuition when you want to do something but the fear is stop blocking you but you know that if you move beyond the fear you're gonna find great relief and probably you make it to the next level in your life that's your intuition connect to it because when you connect to your intuition it's like opening in the door for your spirits to give you communication we all have this power we can we all have the power to communicate with our spirits with beings of other realms we all have it you just got to work on it and develop it. Some uh, some of us are, you know, are more, probably more open to it. But there was a time that I wasn't. So it, it, it all started by me. Really, how it really started was by me creating my little altar. I got my tarot deck, my cards. So now it, it's like more profound. That's how I started with a little candle, flowers, water, and incense, and my tarot cards. And I started doing spreads. And I started to develop this connection with my spirit, guys. Now it's, it goes to so is so powerful that sometimes i don't even need to open a tarot card to receive messages for myself and for other people i don't have to all i gotta do is be in the presence of this of the other person or in myself am i i finding for guidance and information comes through but you know it's a process that everything is a process when you start into this healing journey and you start to open up this door to communication with your spirits all is gonna develop and the more you do it the more stronger you get it's about consistency. It's not about killing yourself because I personally don't think no more about working hard. Because when you work hard, you're just killing your physical body and other things can happen that probably later on I'll explain in some other video. Right now it's just to flow for what feels good for you and for what works for you. Create your own way of communication with them. Write in a book, another technique that you could use, ask for, for a sign, you know? For like the little signs I used to do back then. Oh, my candle just went out. Write in a book um, to I'll put a dear spirit guide or dear guardian angel. If you are with me and you're ready to open up this journey with me, please send me the sign of a, of a rainbow or a, a butterfly. Whatever you think um, suits you. And at the end, you said, thank you for the perfect answer. Thank you. Thank you. And you sign it with your name and forget about it. Just forget about it. And it, I'll, I could guarantee you that less than 24 hours, you're going to see that sign. And you start doing this more and more and you start developing this practice with them. Just be open to it. Be open to create. Be open for the connection. Be open for the, for the change in your life. For new things to come in and start creating that life, my love. Start creating that life that you deserve, honey. So now let's get into our meditative portion of our video where you will be able to connect to your spirit guide and receive guidance or simply just be present within their energy. So now relax yourself. Find yourself in a comfortable space. And now just become aware of your breath. And just relax. Become aware if you feel any tension in your body. And then just take a deep breath to that area. And release. There we go. Good job. Now I want you to close your eyes. Let's place your hands in our chest to connect to our heart center. Now let's just breathe in our heart center. Let's just take deep breath. Three deep breaths that are going to connect us to this beautiful space. Feel 
feel as your chest raises every time you inhale and then exhale let's take another deep breath in and exhale oh exhale in your own space there's no need to manipulate the breath do what feels comfortable for you now let's just take another deep breath in hold oh, and release beautiful now I want you to visualize that from the center of your heart a couple of deep inches in there's this beautiful light just shining and feel how it grows and it gets even bigger and it expands to your arms to your lower body going all the way down now envision it connecting to your shoulders your neck your face your head until you're completely covered by this beautiful light now feel the love of this light just surrounding you protecting you and guiding you now envision that this beautiful light is getting bigger and wider all connecting from your heart center your entire body is just surrounded by this beautiful white light now i want you to feel the energy of this light you're yourself, you're oneness with this light. You're at orbit yourself in this light. Now I want you to keep breathing normally into this light. Feel the vibration of it. Now I want you to be looking out for smells, images, a memory that pop up. And with this memory or image or smell you feel another presence inside this orbit with you just feel their energy and you come to be aware that it's one of your spirit guides there we go now just feel free you feel free with their presence they inside this orbit with you you feel protected now happy and loved now I want you to take a minute to ask them a question. Just breathe into this light. Ask the question, whatever you feel free to ask, or just feel and be present with them. While breathing in your own space, in this own present moment, take the time to listen. Beautiful. Now I want you to express gratitude for this for this moment. Gratitude for this beautiful energy. Gratitude for their presence in your life. Now expand. And there we go. Now I want you to say bye-bye. And to leave this communication open with your spirit guide. Tell them that you're open for their guidance and to receive them at all times in your life there we go beautiful now it's time to say goodbye for now okay beautiful now I want you gently to start coming back to your body by wiggling your toes imagine that this beautiful light and now it's just locked back in inside your heart because this light belongs to you it's your protective light it's the light that connects you to your spirit team there we go now feel back now you're in the present moment here and now open up your eyes and wiggle your fingers you're here i hope you enjoyed this beautiful meditation and you got to have an amazing experience with your spirit guides <laughs>
I'm sending you love and I'm sending you light and I'm sending you a be I wish it, I'm wishing for you a beautiful healing journey that this may be the beginning of a strong bond between you and your spirit guide. I want to remind you honey to check out the PDF that I created, the free PDF that I created which is a ritual that you can use as a tool on your healing journey. And of course, Subscribe to my channel and hit the, not the notification button so you can be notified anytime I upload new content. Thank you for watching, sunshine. Until the next time, I love you.